Our next guest is a musical icon who has sold over 100 million albums, earned eight Grammy Awards, and 26 number one hits. Please welcome the one and only Dolly Parton. But it's all right. It's tough. that's probably not the first time. No, it's not. <laughs> now, uh, it, it's it's okay. Do we need to do anything? No, it's all right. All right. I've showed more net. I'll uh -huh. fix it at a commercial. But anyway, this is okay. This is all time. right. <laughs> you you had a hilarious line the other day when you said that there's not going to be a wardrobe malfunction with you because. Oh, I said because I'd probably take out the first three rows. <laughs> Is a malfunction. You will not see a nipple ring. It'll be more like a hula hoop. Uh <laughs> but anyway, there's a lot of strain on my little clothes. But anyway, yeah. But well, I'm glad to see you. Well, you they look great. You thank look, you. Uh, now, and you're not ashamed to say that you're 58 years old. Yes, I am. You're. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> Too. And and how I mean I I'm I'm pr I'm fi I'm 46 and I but I feel like now I feel really bad I mean <laughs> you look so good What do you do Do you well, work out you. What do you do Well it ain't cheap it's Yeah just, <laughs> I, I just look cheap but oh just a lot of a lot of good doctors You know like a lot of good makeup uh, uh -huh. You know so so I no I this is not makeup this. You have great legs You do something well, This is not Thank the, you. I don't really work out that much. I'm not very really? physical. No, I'm just, uh, I just kind of do whatever I, you know, need to do. And yeah, but just when you kinda, lost well, all I'm that weight. I'm a cartoon. I'm a cartoon. <laughs> so it's almost like easy to look this way. I'll look this way probably when I'm 100, which would be Yeah. Like, yeah. But you didn't, always, <laughs> you didn't always look this way. You lost a lot of weight. You yeah, must have done something. Well, I was, in my early years, I never had a weight problem. But I did go from when I was like 38 years old till I was about 45, I guess. Mm -hmm. I gained a lot of weight. Because I'm just a big old hog, you know, inside yeah. of me, there's a, I mean, I'm a country girl, I, I love, all the foods I love are bad for you, and I gained a lot of weight, but I couldn't stand it, I couldn't, I hated myself and everybody else, uh -huh. <laughs> I was that heavy, so I just had to get my weight down, I just eat, uh, I did everything to get the weight in, in under control, but now I just kind of eat small portions of the things I really like. The same things, though, you didn't cut out all the carbs and all that no, stuff. No, I love everything, and that's yeah. why I had trouble, you know, because yeah. I'm, I'm just a big eater, yeah. but anyhow, thank God I got all that you know, under control, but I, I just, it's kind of, I look at myself like being in show business, kind of like a show dog or a show horse. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have to kind of keep it groomed and clipped and, you know, whatever, uh -huh. you know, whatever. I'm going to present it as long as I'm going to be on. It's like I just kind of, you know. Let me know when you're ready for some water. Um, <laughs> all right, so, and now what, you, you said that you look at yourself as a cartoon. You, did you have some kind of Idol, did you go? This is how I want to look, and I'm gonna. I'm aiming for this look. Or when I was young, yeah, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, and I've told this story before, but it's the honest truth. There was this woman. I'm, I grew up, first of all, way back in the mountains, and we only got to go to town every once in a while. But every time we would, there was this woman that they was the town trash whore. They uh -huh. <laughs> but I thought she was beautiful. I didn't know what any of that meant. And I would just see this woman with this yellow hair pile on her head, her bright red lipstick, red nails, high heel shoes. And I thought she was the prettiest thing I'd ever seen. And I used to say to my mama, oh, she's so pretty. Mama said, oh, she's just trash. <laughs> and I thought to myself, that's, that's what I want to be. <laughs> When I grow up, she's yeah. trash. Because I thought that was a word for how she looked, and uh -huh. I thought that was how I wanted to look. Right. So I grew up to look just like her. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you know, does she know that? I mean, is she still around? No, she was probably, she was older then. I was just little. I'm sure yeah. she's not around, but I've never said her name. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, for the sake of her family. But uh -huh. she might not have been a whore. She just might have been like me. <laughs> she might have just looked like one. Maybe she thought that was a pretty way to look. Because I know most uh -huh. girls, most country girls, that's the way you think you're supposed to look. I mean, you, you, you or I mean, as plain as we were, we had nothing. Right. And uh, I used to put methylate and mercurochrome on my lips. I used to paint my eyebrows with burnt kitchen matches. I was going to, well, I mean, like how you, once they're burned, then you lick them. <laughs> and then they die, you know, they put stuff on you. Have to, and, and poke berries in the summer. I used to 
make a little water uh, dye. It makes like a little, and then you can like, have a little rouge. And uh huh. So you'll fig you'll figure it out if you if you're inclined. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. You're like a makeup junkie or something. Uh -huh. like, you're jonesing for some eye, <laughs> eyeshadow, and you're just like needing to fix it out well, of anything. That's true. But that's actually a really uh, inexpensive way to put makeup on, what well, you it, just said. It is, but I actually could do it. And my daddy, you know, hated My grandpa was a Pentecostal preacher, mm -hmm. the hellfire brimstone, and he thought I was Jezebel. They thought I was going to hell in a handbasket. Mm -hmm. You know, they thought I was running around with the boys, and I thought, no, ain't no way I'm sleeping with no boys because I don't want nobody to mess up my makeup. You know, <laughs> smear my lipstick. <laughs> Right. We'll be right back, right after this. Hello, Dolly well, Parton. Hello, How are you? I'm good. I always Thank love you. when you're here. I'm happy to well, see you. I enjoy it, and you're right. You've got Christmas all around, and congratulations for all your presents. <laughs> are you a big, do you decorate for Christmas? Do you do a big uh, decoration in your house? Oh, yeah, I have a, a lot of rooms in my house, and I've got a Christmas tree in every one of them. A in little, every room? A little one. They're all different sizes, but. Uh, I have different houses. I have a lake house. We decorate it kind of with the theme of that with water. Uh -huh. Christmas is all about the kids. It I really is. Them, yeah. It is. It's about kids. And I, I keep saying it, but there are a lot of kids and a lot of families that, are, that have nothing because of the fires. So please help all those kids yes. out and those families out because they, they need that. Might I say that uh, Linda Perry, our friend, that. Uh, Produced my album. She put together a whole big show, and they raised a million dollars for the fire. Oh, that that's year. fantastic! Yeah, with Miley and a lot of wonderful friends who helped out. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, I have to say, Dolly, uh, you look fantastic, and Thank I know you. you don't mind me saying you're 72 years old. Yes, I am. Uh, Seventy-two years old, and you are busier than ever. You're doing what? They're going to do a remake of Nine to Five, which is yes, fantastic. Yes, Jane and Lily. You have a Netflix special. What is the Netflix series? Well, actually, it's it's called Heartstrings, and it's movies based on songs that I've written, and I'm really excited about that. I, I act in some of them, and I introduce them all, and they're all based on songs that really tell good stories, having a lot of wonderful actors and actresses in them. So I'm looking forward to that. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about Dumplin'. I don't know how you got involved with this, but it's a fantastic thing. So tell tell me about it that. It is. I was watching you and Jen, and I love Jen, by yeah. the way. And she did have she had fun coming to sing on the song. I made her do it, and Linda Perry. <laughs> Hour there, but she and Daniela came over. It was a song that uh, I wrote that Linda and I wrote called Push and Pull, and it was about the mother daughter relationship in the movie. But as far as me getting involved, it was a book that was out a few years ago. Yeah. Julie Murphy wrote the book, and as she mentioned, it was had me in it. So uh, I got the book, and I loved it, and I was very flattered, and I didn't think any more about it until Jennifer Aniston produced it. And she uh, called me, or she and her company, asked if they could license some of my songs. And I said, well, sure, I'd be honored that you would. And so then they asked if I would write a theme song. And I said, yes. They said, would you write it with Linda Perry? I said, yes. Would you let Linda Perry produce it? I said, yes, whatever. <laughs> so I was saying yes to everything. But when I met Linda, we just really clicked, you know, musically. Yeah. And I didn't know her. She didn't know me. We'd never met. But... So we just started writing all these songs, and they just kept using them. So I really felt honored that the movie was about a little girl that had been inspired by my music, because mm -hmm. you want to be meaningful in your life. So that's kind of how it came to be. It was about a book about me, and so, of course, I should write the music, don't you think? Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's <laughs> so fantastic. And it's getting Oscar buzz. Congratulations. Yeah, thank it's you. so good. All right, when we come back, Dolly is going to perform for us. We'll be right back. Uh -huh.